Hey guys, this is Sean with Integrity Ranch. Today I wanted to do a little video here at the Sheep and Goats and kind of let everyone know we're going to have some billies and rams for sale this fall. Those three right in front of us there, those are all billies from 2022, so they'll be a year and a half old this fall. And we don't worm our goats, we've never wormed our goats. Um... They, they kid out here in the brush and the pastures. Just don't do anything but uh, move them. They don't get shots. They don't get wormed. Um, we have some really hardy goats here. So if you're interested in goats that aren't pampered, that aren't wormed, let us know. It is... It's really hard to find goats that aren't being wormed. Um, took us quite a while to get our herd to where we weren't culling constantly because we've never wormed any of them. We just culled them. And so we got some some billies for sale. We'll have some, some dolings for sale this fall. We'll have some rams and some ewes. Kind of have everything for sale this fall. Um... Whether you're wanting sheep or goats, we'll have little package deals. Um, probably have a couple guard dogs for sale. These guys are... Uh, we have two two pups. Well, they're not pups anymore. They're about 13, 14 months old now. They're doing really good. I just uh, came back down here in the trees to fill up the dog food, make sure the guard dogs have food. So this is uh, this is our guard dog feeder. The sheep can't, or sheep and the goats can't get into there. We've uh, tried the Greg Judy style, and it works great for sheep. It's a it's a lot simpler, really just cleaner and nicer, but. Uh, the goats figured out how to get into it, so we had to kind of switch it up. And this is working. This has worked for quite a while with keeping the goats out. So It's not the prettiest, and it may be a little hard to copy, but it works, and that's what's important. Um, but yeah, we have, we have about 14, 14, 15 billy kit, billies that'll be... Uh, It'll be mature billies, year and a half old, and then we'll have some uh, eight-month-old billy kids from this spring. These will be mature billies this fall. Pretty nice. These uh. Running goats and sheep together, guys, it's like, it is just pretty awesome, especially when you have a lot of brush and a lot of woods. Um, you get just a little bit of grass cleared for the sheep, a little bit of weeds more for the sheep, and the goats, they're fine with just leaves. I mean, when we first bought this piece, you couldn't see until all this, all this, uh, these trees were just so thick, and it has really opened up. With just rotating the sheep and goats through here. It's awesome what they'll do to to trees like this, but it's even better to what they'll do to your pastures. You got some brushy pastures, they just keep it clean. Um Yeah, we love having the goats with our sheep. We've had them separate before. Um, but it just makes it that much harder when you have two herds to check on. I'd rather run a little extra fence here just to keep the goats in. We have to run two strands. 
two strands of poly when we are rotating um, to keep the goats in. I'd like to to get the sheep to one strand someday, but with the goats with them, I just don't don't see that happening. But so we have some Kiko Spanish crossed cross uh, goats here. The St. Croix Katahdin crosshair sheep. Um, nothing gets wormer, nothing gets grain. They just out here on the brush. We don't have a barn to put them in in the winter. We don't have a barn to lamb them in. They lamb, they raise their kids by themselves. We just, when it's when it's lambing and kidding season, we stay out of the, out of the pastures with them. Um, you know, we move them, we give them what they need, but just give them their space so we don't cause any problems and makes it simpler for us. We don't have to be checking on bottle babies or anything. Here's another pretty nice little belly here. There's a little Kiko belly. He's he's gonna be a lot more Kiko than Spanish. So, if you're looking to uh, start a herd of sheep or goats and you don't want to worm them, then it'll just save you that much to go to someone who's raising them the way you want because. You can have quite the culling process in sheep and goats trying to trying to get where you want to go. Um, doesn't just happen overnight, so I would recommend to pay the premium and buy from someone who's been raising them the way you want. Um, really save you a lot of work when we first started running goats we were we had to call pretty darn hard um, we called 50 50 percent of our herd to finally get with you know animals we could work with and then we've you know still had to call a little since then but just amazes me every year how much easier it gets from that first year, you know. That first year was just, uh, just felt like the culling was never going to end. Felt like we'd be, uh, we'd be culling out animals forever, but after that, it's just got easier and easier every year. And the, uh, <clears throat> This is all kind of compliments of the goats right here. This was pretty much solid trees about four years ago when I first bought this piece. This is where we'd always hang out. We'd come down here and just chainsaw, chainsaw fire up. And back when I was younger, didn't have so much going on. I had a lot more time in the evenings and I'd just come down here and chainsaw, start a fire. And so this has just been a just been cleared pretty much by uh, chainsaws and so it really has grown up a lot but with the sheep and goats they've been able to keep it mostly at bay um, I brush hogged this once in four years and some of them are getting away from me like that over there is getting pretty tall that uh, autumn olive it looks like which Kind of explains why it's grown so fast. A lot of weeds, which keep the goats and sheep happy, and eventually I think this will turn into some awesome civil pasture, which is just what we're looking for here. Hey, boy. He's not the friendliest. But yeah, there's a... <laughs> Goats and sheep everywhere. There's some more down in there. 
But yeah, we have a lot of woods we're trying to turn into civil pasture like this. And having the goats along with the sheep just make it awesome. So, if anyone's interested, you guys can get a hold of us at Integrity Ranch. We have our email address on YouTube here. Send us an email. We're going to have some stuff available. Some Sell you some packages if you're just trying to get started with some sheep, some goats. We'll have rams, ewes, billies, doelings. Um, try to have a couple guard dogs available when we're selling, but they're going to probably go pretty fast. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give us a subscribe and hit that thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it.